Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm Father Steve Sellers and this is Dot and this is our daily message of hope and joy. And we hope you're in a good place this morning. We had a momentary crisis in our house uh, uh, this morning when uh, Dot's favorite bone uh, disappeared. <laughs> I have no idea where it went, where she placed it. It's somewhere in the house, I'm sure. So she's having to, to play with her uh, poor little monkey that uh, used to have a head. And as of yesterday, he used to have uh, stuffing inside of him, but Dot has not only decapitated poor little monkey, but has also uh, eviscerated the monkey. But she's just teething away on everything she can get her hands on. And uh, I was just thinking this morning about uh, our memories. What do you remember uh, closely from your childhood? Do you have images that stay in your mind? And how far back do your memories go? You know, uh, there's been a lot of research on it. We generally don't remember things until we're able to articulate them, uh, put them into words. Uh, and so some of our earliest memories uh, may just be uh, vestiges of emotions that we felt. Uh, and hopefully for you, those early emotions were of being safe and secure and that you were loved. There's no better uh, combination of emotions that we can give to children and grandchildren than to let them know that they're safe, they are secure, and that they're loved. You know, that's how God treats us. And see you in a little bit, Dot. Uh, Dot has some memories from early in her life. She's five a little over five months old, and uh, we know that some of her memories are very painful. Uh, she's terrified of water. Uh, she will not let herself be bathed. It's like a, uh, she's in fear for her life. She's terrified of brooms, uh, and she's terrified of plates and bowls. So we don't know what happened to her, her early memories, but we're trying to replace them but to let her know that she, she's safe, that she's secure, and that she's loved. Uh, some children don't grow up that way, and some dogs don't either. Uh, the best thing we can do is to rely on the, the love and compassion that God has given to us and to share it with others. Uh, he truly loves us, uh, and He uh, is with us always as a, a sign and a seal of His love for us. Uh, and uh, he wants us to share that with others. Uh, there is a sense in which we are incomplete uh, if we're not able to share the love of God with others uh, as we were meant to do. In the very beginning of, the, of Scripture, uh, God uh, said it's not right that, that uh, humans should be alone. And so he created us to be parts of communities and families. Uh, where we can share compassion and love and to let each other know that we are safe and secure and that we are loved. That's the message God has for you and for me today. We are safe when we hold fast to Him. We are secure in the love that He has for us uh, and we are truly loved by Him. Um, and, that, and that will stay uh, and remain with us and that we're not meant to hoard it but we're meant to share it with others. You know, there was a little uh, story, uh, story so, a, a song that we all learned growing up called Jesus Loves Me, This I Know. the word of scripture to us that we are truly loved by the Lord who is with us and there's nothing better that we can do but to share the love that he has given to us with others and I've got a 45 going on 50 pound puppy who is growing wildly uh, and teething wildly uh, who is going to have to go find her favorite bone somewhere in the house today. I hope you have a blessed day and God willing I'll see you here again tomorrow.